Welcome back to another video and welcome back to a perfect day here in Japan. Today is quite an exciting day because I'm going quite a distance, about an hour and a half drive to another location and the Aqua Review team and I, we're gonna be setting up a, a pretty large tank. So we're gonna head there and let's check it out. It is freezing today. All right, let's go. And check out who has arrived. Aqua Review, the owner and his wife are here. Look at my car, it's packed full of equipment. We're gonna be doing some pretty heavy lifting today, so we gotta be ready. So here we are at Toyohashi. It's always super windy here for some reason. We're unpacking stuff out of the car and getting ready. It's upstairs on the fourth floor, so let's get this done and check this out. I've got an ADA sticker on my car. Come on ADA, sponsor the channel. So we've got a foam piece here. This is going to go underneath all the rocks because we're putting a lot of rocks in this tank big rocks too so they're really heavy so we have to put a protective layer below we've got all the plants in these boxes wabikusa plants which is what we're going to be using and all the tools and we're just getting ready Alright, so we've prepared everything right here. You can see we've prepared the tank so that uh, we don't damage anything. We don't want to be damaging this tank because this is not cheap. As you can see, it's an ADA tank. 5 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot. This here is the main viewing angle of the tank. You can see it's like a window. And this is their office, which they will be able to see the tank from. And you can see the other side of the office there. Alright, so as you can see, we've put all the rocks in. The power sand has gone in at the very bottom. And we've put some supplements plants to grow and you can see on top of that there's soil and now the owner is putting some plants in let's take a look from the front of the tank over here you can see these are the lights three solar RGBs by ADA and we're gonna put this on once the tank is complete but here you can see the escape sorry about the reflections but we're using Unzan stones So these are the red color plants. And on top of the soil, you can see those are all supplements. It's really exciting to see how the tank will look once all the plants are in. And it'll look even better once all the plants start growing. Take a look at that. So now what they're doing is they're putting soil in between the little wabikusa plants. Give me a closer look. So we've got to be quiet in here because everyone is working over there. 
So that's why I'm talking quietly. But take a look over there. Some of the employees here have fish tanks at their desk. If you look right over there, it's pretty cool. And then over there, you can see a salt water tank. That is the boss's tank. And he sits right next to it. is almost done right now we're filling it up and taking out water at the same time so on this side here you can see this is where we're filling it up with water and then on this side this pipe is sucking water out so we're kind of cleaning everything that's inside So the tank is filled up right now. You can see this is the back side of the tank. So we're actually going to be putting a light screen here. So you won't be able to see it from this angle. But you'll be able to see the side. And if you take a look over here, we're setting up the light screen. So this is a 150 centimeter, 5 foot long light screen, back panel that we'll be putting on the tank. And let's take a look at the front view. So yeah, the lights are turned on now. It looks amazing. I can't wait for the plants to grow in. Check that out. What a cool looking scape. Take a look from the front with the light screen. Take a look at this. So there's no gradation film, the blue and white color. This one is just Full white. Of course, it's still possible to add a blue gradation film to make it look like a skyline, but this time the owner of this company requested just for a white background look, which I think looks pretty nice. If in the future he wants to add a blue gradation film, it's totally possible, so yeah, it's really exciting. And check this out, the CO2 is running as well. So let's take a seat. So imagine you're in here having a meeting and you have that tank right there. I think that is just incredible. It looks so nice. What a view to have. There's quite a number of plants being used in this tank. Let's see if we can name a few. So the foreground here, Glossostigma. You've got a carpet. Oh, hopefully a nice carpet. Then you've got Starogyne repens in the mid-ground as well as Tenelis. And 
Tenalus broadleaf. And then in the stones, you've got Hygrophila pinnatifida, as well as Hygrophila pinnatifida UK, which turns a reddish color. And then the background, you've got a mix of stem plants, uh, some Hygrophila polysperma, you've got Rotella ceylon, Rotella hra, you've got Rotella green, Rotella rotundifolia, and Rotella nan nanzean, nanjin. I don't know how to say that, but in Japanese we call it nanzean. It's, uh, right now, all the leaves, all the stem plants are in their emerged form. They're immersed grown form, so it'll take some time for them to adapt. This here is the CO2 which is running right now. And over here is the air stone, the aeration side. So when the CO2 and the lights turn off, one of the lights are off right now, but when the lights and CO2 turn off, the air goes on. It's set on an automatic timer. And then you have an air guard right here so that the bubbles don't splash everywhere. So that's that. Got the light screen, the beautiful light screen. And check out the stones. Look at that. This is the light stand. This light stand is also ADA. It's an ADA full system. And over here you've got the mega canister filter. This is the biggest canister filter in the ADA lineup. It's so big, it doesn't even fit in the cabinet, and it's, I don't know, this is like a hundred centimeters tall. So it's really, really tall. It's the ES2400 EX2, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it's called. Iwaki magnet pump. You've got a chiller. Right now it's 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's really cold because it's winter right now in Japan. So that's why you see two heaters in the tank. But once the plants grow, it'll get covered, so not a huge deal. But in the summer, the heaters come out of the tank. And then inside the cabinet, let's take a look. So it's divided in two. If you take a look over here, you've got the water filter for water changes. And you've got a UV sterilizer as well, so it all, it's all connected, the filter, to the chiller, to the UV sterilizer, and then back into the tank. Over here you've got the three ballasts for the light, the solar RGB light. So yeah, that's basically the right side of the cabinet. And on the left side, you've got the CO2 uh, canister. And then you've got the ADA control timer, the NA control timer. It controls the CO2, the lights, and the air. And then you've got another timer there, which I'm not so sure what that's about, but... Yeah, and there's the air pump. So that's basically that. Yeah, really nice setup. I love how neat and tidy this is right there. Doesn't that look good? Now we're just cleaning up using a vacuum cleaner. Check out this view, this is just incredible. And my favorite view, I think, is this right here because I love how that middle opens up. It just makes it feel deeper. can't wait to see all the fish in this tank. I will do more updates, so follow me on my Instagram because I'll be posting more pictures of this tank. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.